Okay, so I just want to show you how to use this test box that I came up with. Notice I'm plugged into a toroidal power supply. And so what you do is you just take your 10 volt line, which is right there. Everyone's seen this a million times. The six volt um, or the six pin DIN cable. And you plug that into the front right there. Then you take this DC out, which is right there. Maybe I should turn on another light so you can see. That, and you plug this cable, which I will send you if you buy this, plug that in right there. Then, obviously plug the power into, into the test box. Test box is, there's the power right there for the test box. Plug that in. And you'll notice you have two meters that come on, okay? And this power supply looks like it's good. It has 10 volts, 10.3 volts, and it should have 10 volts in order for the power to the piano to run properly, and it should have 40 volts. So you've got the 40 volts coming out of this line right here, and the 10 volts coming out of this line right here. Now, but watch this. When you put a load on the 10 volt line, watch what happens to the voltage. See that? What that means is that this power supply is actually bad because it can't crank out the approximate uh, two amps of current that the piano needs to, to play properly. So if you were to hook up this power supply to a piano, it would not work. Um, it should just drop to, uh, I can't remember, about nine and a half volts, no less than nine though. It has to have at least nine volts or the piano will not work. Um, usually with the 40 volts, if you got 40 volts, your piano will play. Um, there's such a, a huge amount of current going through that, and I've never really had problems with the 40 volt supply. I mean, it's it's either there or it's not. If it doesn't have 40 volts, then your piano obviously won't play. But if you've got your 40 volts, it's most likely good. So I didn't bother putting it in a dummy circuit, you know, like I did with the, with the 10 volt line. So. Once again, you just plug it all up, push your test button right there, and what this test box is doing is it's pulling two amps of current from that power supply. It's trying to pull that amount of current, but obviously this power supply can't handle that amount of current, and that's why it drops down to six volts when, like I said, it should be at least nine volts for the power supply to be good. Now you can test all power supplies with this test box. So you'll, you would go from the toroidal, and then you would go to, I don't have one with me, but the, the switcher power supply. And everyone will remember the switcher power supply. You just plug that into the switcher power supply. And then this piece right here um, plugs into, uh, should I just show you really fast? And maybe this won't make sense. But all right, let me plug this in right here. Okay, see how I just plugged this piece? And I'm sure that all of you recognize this piece. This is the one that plugs into the switcher 40 volt out. That's how you do that. Now, as far as the brand new power supplies are concerned, then you just grab, uh, let me see if I can find a cable. Then you just grab this little adapter that Piano Disc now sends with the brand new power supply. You know how they send a 10 volt supply and a 40 volt supply. The 10 volts just a little adapter, but you can test that thing as well. And you just use this and you plug it into the old switcher adapter. Sorry, I need to, here, sorry. Let me do it like this. You just snap that together like that. Okay, snap that together right there. Let me just do it real fast. Okay, notice how it's snapped together. And then you plug this end into the latest power supply that Piano Disc sends. So very, very, very handy little tool here for you to test all three power supplies. The only one that it won't test is the old silver one from a long time ago. So anyway, I, I hope that helps. If any of you want this, I think I'll sell it for Oh, about, if you want the truth, maybe 125 even, and that'll cover shipping. And, um, yeah, and I will send this cable right here. I won't send this little adapter. You'll have to get this from Piano Disc. 
but I will send this little adapter which goes straight into the switcher supply. And, and obviously this one right here too that goes into the old tor toroidal. I will send those two cables. So thank you and let me know if you're interested. Okay, bye.